the model of price leadership includes a dominant firm and follower firms. The first graph shows you the supply of the followers and the demand by all of the customers in that market. We will now attempt to derive the leaders or the dominant firm's demand curve as the difference between the industry demand and the followers supply. The dominant firm will ask the question, how much can the followers supply relative to what is being demanded? At the price we call Pmax, the followers can supply everything that is being demanded so the dominant firm or the leader will supply zero. At P min, the followers are just about to start supplying. At this price, it is not in their interest to start supplying, but for any price higher than P min, the followers in the industry will start to supply. We have, therefore, the raw material to derive the leader's demand. The leader will supply the entire market at P min and the leader will supply zero at P max. So the leader will determine its demand curve. Remember, imperfectly competitive firms do not use a supply curve. They supply based on marginal revenue equal marginal cost, the profit maximizing condition. So they need to know their own cost conditions. They also need to know what the demand for their product is. We then calculate the marginal revenue, which slopes twice as steeply as the demand curve for the leader, and the marginal cost curve for the leader. And the intersection of the marginal cost for the leader and the marginal revenue from the leader will give us the quantity that the leader will supply. We project up to the demand curve for the leader, and we get the price that the leader will set. We follow the follower's supply curve up to that price for the leader's production. So the leader is maximizing profit and the others are satisficing, accepting that price and doing the best they can. It is as if they were in a perfectly competitive industry and the demand curve were horizontal for each firm or the price was given and therefore the marginal revenue to each of these firms is equivalent to the price and the marginal cost is their supply curve so they will supply based on the intersection of their supply curve and uh, the price that they are given by the leader in this case. So again, we have the leader's demand curve as a derived demand curve. Notice that there's a kink in the leader's demand curve. This turns out not to be consequential. What it says is there's a lower price or there's a lowest possible price at which the followers will supply. And that is what the kink explains that once the followers are supplying zero, the original industry demand curve obtains. So we see the leader choosing MR equals MC and obtaining the Q star and the P star. And now we follow the followers supply curve up to the price P star L and that tells us the quantity that the followers are willing to supply. Remember that the aggregate quantity being supplied is the sum of the followers and the leaders and this would all be on the original industry demand curve as an equilibrium. Let us attempt to solve a problem to obtain the profit maximizing quantity and price that the leader will supply and then ex post we will calculate the quantity that the followers will supply so that we can get back to the total industry demand. We start by deriving the leader's demand curve which is the industry demand curve minus the quantity that will be supplied by the followers. The industry demand curve is given by QD industry equals 248 minus 2P. And the followers supply is given by QF equals 48 plus 3P. When we subtract the followers supply from the industry demand, we get QL equals 248 minus 48 is 200 we have minus 2p minus 3p is minus 5p. So we have QL equals 200 minus 5p. We will rewrite this equation with p as the subject. So we have 5p equals 200 minus QL. Divide through by 5, we get 40 minus 0.2QL. 
the marginal revenue for the leader or the dominant firm will be twice as steep as the demand curve. So MR equals 40 minus 0.4 QL. We said that the dominant firm's marginal cost was MC equals 0.1 QL. Therefore, we equate marginal revenue with marginal cost. And we get 0.1 QL equals 40 minus 0.4 QL, which tells us that 0.5 QL equals 40, or QL equals 80. We plug that 80 back into the leader's demand curve, and we get P equals 40 minus 0.2 of 80. 0.2 of 80 is 16. 40 minus 16 equals 24. We can now plug that 24 back into the follower's supply curve, and we get QF equals 48 plus 3 times 24. 3 times 24 is 72. And 72 and 48 give us a total of 120. So the leader is supplying 80. If we were to plug the price of 24 back into the original demand curve, we have 248 minus 2 times 24. 248 minus 48 equals 200. So the quantity originally demanded by the industry is 200.